This video is brought to you guys by our friends at 5 Star Tuning. Check them out using the link below. If you want more power from your truck or SUV, they have the solution for you. As you already know, the brand new 2021 Ford Bronco has made its official debut. But what I wanna do in this video is actually compare the brand new Bronco to the Ford Ranger and other Ford trucks and see if we can glean into the future and also actually see which one is best for you. Is it maybe a Ford Ranger? Is it a new Bronco? So let's get started. I'm gonna go over some of the features available in a new Bronco first show you a lot of cool footage of interior exterior options and also pricing because we have now access to a lot more detailed pricing on the new bronco and then i'm also going to show you how it compares directly against the ford ranger so let's dive in and we'll go over chassis suspensions all of that stuff and maybe see what the future may hold for the ranger so right here i'm on ford website and what I can do is now see each specific trim level on the new Bronco. It all starts out with a base model and goes to big bend. And it's nice to see here, you know, that it starts with kind of a steel wheel, really basic headlights, grill, um, really basic soft top and goes to big bend and then black diamond. And you can kind of see the progression uh, once again, so a little bit more capability as we move along and I'll show you some more detail on this a little bit later Then outer banks, which is a little bit more luxurious version of the new Bronco Finally Badlands, it's kind of a Rubicon competitor in some ways when you compare the Bronco to the Wrangler and Wild Track is supposed to be that kind of a badass fast desert racer So the Wild Track model on the Bronco is more competing against the Mojave Jeep lineup, but we're not going to be talking about Jeep because that video is already on TFL car channel So if you want to know about that you can go check out Roman and Tommy there And if you want to know more about the Bronco Sport the small crossover You can go to TFL now channel where we have a full video on that and check this out the first edition launch edition of the Bronco is Sold out so sorry. It's been a few hours <laughs> since the Bronco launched they have 3500 allocated for the highest option Bronco 2021 model that's available in the spring of 2021 for sale, they're spoken for with a $100 deposit. So let's go a little deeper and see exactly what the Bronco actually is and how much it costs because we haven't had this information before. The 2021 Bronco base model, this is the most basic one, starts at 28,500 bucks. You can see it right here, that's before destination. So after you add destination handling fees, you're hitting that 29,995, basically 30 grand for a two door four wheel drive Bronco. By the way, all Broncos are four wheel drive. There's no such thing right now as a two wheel drive, rear wheel drive Bronco model. But here on the website, it's pretty cool. You can actually remove the doors, ding, remove the roof, ding, and you can kind of see, although not terribly well in this particular image, but kind of the structure of the Bronco. It's basically a ladder frame. Uh, let me show that to you right now. So here it is, the actual frame and chassis for the new Bronco. And Ford says it is a modified global mid-size truck platform. Well, a mid-size truck is a Ranger, which is why we're so excited here at TFL Truck to bring you a little bit more detail about this. You can kind of see a really massive frame, um, fully boxed for the most part. You know, there may be a couple of sections we cannot see right now uh, that um, may not may be C channel, but a lot of cross members, you can kind of see where it's the um, transfer case is mounting right behind the transfer case. There's one in the rear, one in the front. So it's supposed to be a very sturdy frame and I'm sure it's kind of the latest generation of this frame because what Ford is doing, usually what they do is when they introduce a brand new generation of a platform, they usually make a lot of different improvements on the chassis and the frame itself. So they can actually tune the suspension in a more precise way, uh, which is uh, also what they've done with this Bronco. 
And you can see here, actually, it's running on these big Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT mud terrain tires. And this is a whole nother story that we'll do on TFL Off-Road soon. Um, Goodyear Wrangler Territory tires are now becoming more popular. It's a new design. Um, the upcoming Ram Rebel TRX is rumored to have this tire. Also very similar uh, design of the tire. And also the 2021 Chevy Silverado four-wheel drive trucks are also rumored to have this tire. So um, that's a whole different story. So let's get back really quickly to um, the pricing guide on the Bronco. And as you can see here, you can also see the uh, skeleton structure, which is basically the roll bar once you take the top off on a new Bronco. And around it are the mostly aluminum panels, body panels. So the rear uh, quarter panel, the front fender, the hood. Uh, there are some components that are made out of aluminum to save weight. And the payload rating on the new Bronco is around 1,370 pounds, which is just a little hair better than the Wrangler. Of course, it's not a truck payload because the Ranger is rated at about 1,700 pounds max. So if you want to carry more payload, the Ranger truck is for you. If you don't, and if you want to go more hardcore off-road, uh, way um, the Bronco would be the choice. So then we can actually um, see what the four-door Bronco starts at and select four-door. So this one actually starts at $33,200 before destination or closer to about thirty-four eight dollars uh, with destination charges. Once again, you can review it. And one interesting point uh, right here it says shipments on the base Bronco start in mid 2021. So this is not spring of 2021. So that's a little bit later, about a year from now. So that's interesting that the base models are, uh, appear to be uh, coming out a little bit later after the first edition, perhaps. So once again, you can put the doors back on, put the top back on. So that's pretty neat. Let's move on really quick. I, I wanna show you kind of where the progression on price actually goes. So then the next trim level is a big bend. So you're getting a little bit uh, more off-road capability, a little bit larger tire, still um, not the 35 that's available on the wild track um, and the uh, Badlands and also the Sasquatch package. By the way, the Sasquatch package on the Bronco is available on any trim level. So in theory, you can select a base four door Bronco for about 34 and a half grand and then add the Sasquatch package that gives you the transfer case, the upgraded transfer case, upgraded suspension shocks, and 35 inch tall tires all rolled into one uh, kind of more affordable package. So I'm kind of excited about that. Of course, these prices are higher than the Ranger and I'll show you that in a second. So there goes the big band four door. Actually, the pricing is not listed right now. The Black Diamond offers you yet a little bit more off-road capability. The four door starts at around 38,545 or close to 40 grand for uh, with destination charges. That's before other options. Outer Banks, um, like I said before, it's a little bit more luxurious model of the Bronco and the four door is not quite priced yet as you can see, but the two-door starts at 38,955. And finally, I think most of us are interested in about Badlands edition. Uh, the two-door starts at 42,095 bucks. The four-door starts at 44,590, once again, before destination charges. Uh, yes, this is a competitive price. If you look at the Wrangler, um, it also starts in the mid $40,000 range, but <laughs> mid $40,000 range, is where the Ranger taps out. So let me quickly show you that. So here is the brand new 2020 Ford Ranger, which is available in the United States. This is the XL model, which is the base truck. It's a two wheel drive that starts at a lower price, but let's select the four by four because Broncos only come in a four by four version. And actually they start at the exact same price, almost $28,570 before destination charges. It's the uh, four-wheel drive extended cab long bed Ranger. The Ranger can tow up to 7,500 pounds maximum with actually the same engine that's in the Bronco base model as well. 
which I'll get to in a second. And the Bronco can only tow up to 3,500 pounds. So a huge variance in maximum towing capability. The payloads uh, are closer, like I told you. Um, but let's talk about the engine really quick. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder that's available in the Ranger, which is the only engine choice in the Ranger currently, is also available in the Bronco with the same power rating, 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. The Ranger only gets the 10 speed automatic, but the Bronco is all, can also be had with this engine and a seven speed manual. Ford calls it six plus one manual transmission, which means you're using your six gears manually in the day-to-day -day driving, and then that crawler gear, that kind of a below the first gear, um, is only used when you're off-road and moving very slowly to enable you to have this tremendous crawl ratio. And crawl ratios are very useful for just slow speed um, off-roading because you want to be very precise and you don't want to damage anything and if your vehicle can move slowly forward that's very key to having a successful day um, on the trail so so what does that mean could the future ford ranger have a manual transmission similar to the broncos well hmm, possible possible especially if it's an off-road version of the ranger maybe the next Ranger Raptor. Obviously, we don't have any confirmation on this from Ford. This is just kind of speculation on my part right now. But uh, the Ranger and the Bronco are going to be produced at the same factory in Michigan. So, I mean, there's a lot of energy here. So, I'm really excited for the next Ranger to have additional cool, cool off road features as well. Of course, you also have, when you're talking about Ranger, you also have XLT for a little bit more money, 32,460. Lariat is currently the top trim. So really only about three trims on the Ranger versus what up to five or six trims on the new Bronco. So the Ranger is, is a little bit more focused in how it's positioned. And we've shown that to you. We've taken several Rangers off-road crew cabs. And uh, if you put the FX4 off-road package onto it, and every single option, the most expensive, highest priced Ford Ranger would be at about forty-six to forty-seven thousand um, dollars. So let me just show you that. I'm not sure what's happening now. You know what? Um, I think the Ford.com site is actually very busy because people are trying to figure out. Uh, or, and look at the Bronco and figure out which best, which may be best for them, because I've noticed this. And actually, we actually tried to order a Bronco last night or pre-order one, and the ordering process kept crashing time, from time to time. So I think Ford is seeing huge, huge demand for the, or at least interest, initial interest in the new Bronco. Anyway, so when you configure the Ranger truck with the most off-road worthy goodies, including trail control, that's now also available on the Bronco, which is slow speed cruise control for off-roading. Uh, but 46 grand is where you will be. Here you go, I just quickly wanted to show you the kind of a fully optioned Ranger. Maybe not with every trim level and option, but at least when you select the FX4 package, uh, which like I said, gives you special shocks, trail control, other um, options, you're pushing the $46,000, $47,000 range. So this is the very top of the Ranger currently. Uh, that's not the very top of the Bronco range, so let's get back to the Bronco. So the Badlands is kind of, like I told you, kind of a equivalent of a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon competitor. Then if you want more, which Ford is ready to offer this, the Wild Track model, and you can kind of see the fat tires and big fenders and kind of a steel bumper with Raptor-like um, kind of cutouts on the sides. Really cool stuff. Two door starts at $48,875. This is more um, positioned like a kind of a fast off-road vehicle, almost like a Raptor, but they didn't call it this the Raptor. They called it Wild Track, which is very interesting. So what does that mean? Will there be a Bronco Raptor later? We don't know yet. Um, and of course, a lot of these top end models on the Bronco are using a 2.7 liter um, EcoBoost twin turbo V6 with 310 horsepower 
and 400 pound feet of torque which is an f-150 engine basically um, also used in some other vehicles that ford has but uh, the rating um, that's on the bronco is more of a truck rating high torque not as high horsepower which is very interesting and they did say that the bronco combines kind of the toughness of an f-150 with the spirit of the mustang this is kind of their speak and it comes together in an off-road package uh, with the bronco um, so very truck based like i said frame based truck engines truck kind of low torque output and a four-door wild track starts at 51 grand 370 before options and then of course the sold out first edition i can't even go to um, it's disabled they're gone uh, those ones um, started at about 60 grand oh here it is um, so the two-door first edition bef uh, well they already sold out 59 305 and the four door 63 500 this is you know really a premium price if you consider the most optioned jeep wrangler rubicon with diesel engine and everything else it's a very similar price as this first edition so we're getting into uh, almost ford raptor f-150 raptor price territory um, so I, I hope this gives you a good idea about um, how the Ranger compares to the Bronco. So very similar chassis. The Bronco is using a slightly updated chassis. Uh, same engine, same transmission, the automatic, the 10 speed. But if you want to tow more, the Ranger is your choice or a little bit more payload on the Ranger side as well. If you want to be more off-road ready with lockers front and rear, um, very sophisticated suspension, uh, huge approach, departure and breakover angles, the Bronco is your choice, but you will pay more for a Bronco, especially if you start configuring it higher and higher. And finally, I wanted to give you a quick look or a little bit deeper dive into the suspension setups because there are a lot of questions out there. Will Ford get rid of the leaf springs either on the F-150 Raptor or the Ford Ranger side because the Bronco is not using leaf springs in the back. So um, in order to answer that question, I wanted to show you a couple things. So first of all, this video shows you the rear axle setup on the Ranger Raptor available overseas. It's using a Watts Link rear suspension. I can show you how it works. So as the axle goes up and down, um, you can, it, it's, the axle is centered in the middle using this Watts Link setup. Um, and you can also use coil springs on the side. And it's kind of a compact, nice solution for an off-road truck. So then if you're looking at what's available currently or what will be available in the 2021 Ford Bronco, here we go. This is the rear axle on the Ford Bronco for 2021. As you can see, coil springs, no leaves, and a panhard bar that connects the two sides of the frame and axle. So they're not using a Watts link. Um, on this particular setup, but this kind of gives you an idea of what's possible. This is more of a five link um, um, orientation on this Bronco uh, versus a traditional leaf spring design that you see on the Ranger. So um, this design is more, you know, off-road ready. The leaf springs may provide a higher payload capacities, a little bit more stability perhaps while towing. So I think Ford is kind of deciding between all these different options and suspensions, uh, what to offer you. But uh, our guess here at TFL Truck is that a very similar setup you see here would be available on the next generation Ranger Raptor, because first of all, they can share the same platform, they can share the same engineering and design and have a really capable off-road truck, especially if they're using that 2.7 liter V6, the twin turbo. Um, and guys, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news, views, and real-world truck and, of course, Ford Bronco reviews.